Becoming world famous, doing what you love, and getting paid millions to do it? Sign us up. Unfortunately, much of Hollywood's top talent runs into money troubles. Sometimes fame and wealth results in a disastrous spending spree. Many celebrities have gone from 100 million plus in net worth to literally declaring bankruptcy. Welcome to Spacebound. If you like to be rich and famous, maybe a little bit of luck will come your way if you give us some support and like the video. Anyways, besides that, let's get right into it. Johnny Depp, a true household name. Johnny Depp is well known for his quirky and challenging roles on the big screen. He's also notorious for his spending habits. Depp was reportedly spending over $2 million a month, including over $300,000 on wine, $200,000 on personal air travel, and another $300,000 on his personal staff slash entourage of 40 people. Along with his gigantic yacht, he had a collection of 45 luxury vehicles and hundreds of pieces of art that reach a combined value of over $100 million. The most amusing thing Johnny did was shell out $5 million on his friend Hunter S. Thompson's funeral, where he shot out his ashes out of a cannon. All that spending combined with a very expensive divorce with his ex-wife Amber Heard forced Depp to foreclose many of his homes and sell his gigantic yacht. Before you feel bad, this guy has made hundreds of millions, but at the very least, we all want a friend who will spend at least about $5 million on our funerals. Pamela Anderson Up next, Pamela Anderson. When Pamela was working on Baywatch, she was making a seven-figure annual salary. When she went onto the big screen and starred in movies such as Barbed Wire and Scary Movie 3, her success on the screen put her net worth at over $30 million. Unfortunately, her wealth didn't last long at all. Within 10 years, the former Baywatch star went bankrupt, remodeling her environmentally friendly Malibu home and reportedly racked up charges of about $1.1 million in 2012 due to construction contractors, along with back taxes that she couldn't pay. The New York Daily News reported Anderson was forced to list her 7.75 million home on the real estate market in 2013 to dig herself out of debt. Wesley Snipes Wesley was one of the most in-demand Hollywood actors, but his financial troubles became so extreme that they eventually landed him in jail. Snipes was rolling in money for a very long time in 2006. He had to file for bankruptcy due to him being indicted for tax fraud. Snipes owed $12 million. He was arrested and sent to prison for three years. Yeah, he was a really tough guy in Blade, but I doubt any A-list star is really ever expected to land themselves in jail. Nicolas Cage Many people don't realize Nicholas is Hollywood royalty. He's legendary director Francis Ford Coppola's nephew and is related by blood to several prominent actors and directors including Jason Schwartzman. In his telling, he changed his name to Cage as a young man to avoid the appearance of favoritism. Somehow it worked. The prolific Cage found success in a string of romantic comedies through the 1980s, then switched to dramatic action roles through the 1990s, dogly earning his way into Hollywood A-list. Cage's hard-charging approach to movie stardom earned him a lot of money, according to finance buzz. He pocketed $150 million between 1996, a decade after his career began. However, by 2009, much of Cage's fortune had vanished in a hurricane of lavish spending. Here are some of Nicolas Cage's craziest purchases. Over in Europe, Cage purchased not one, but two castles for $10 million and $2.3 million, respectively. $3 million got him a deserted island in the Bahamas. He also sprung for a nine-foot-tall burial tomb and he even bought shrunken pygmy heads, and another 150000 on a pet octopus. Allegedly, Cage also outbid fellow actor Leonardo DiCaprio for a 70 million year old dinosaur skull. The $276,000 artifact turned out to be stolen, however, and Cage had to return it to the Mongolian government. Cage didn't hold on to his fortune for long. He squandered it away on a string of expensive and often eccentric purchases, eventually facing foreclosure on several properties and owing the IRS $6.3 million in property taxes. Lindsay Lohan Once upon a time, there was a lovely teenager who was launched into stardom after she appeared in the comedy Mean Girls. That teenager was Lindsay Lohan. Fast forward to 2010 and things have changed a lot since The Parent Trap and Freaky Friday. Lohan is a disheveled mess and rumored to be in serious financial trouble. Now in her late 20s, the actress has been to rehab three different times in the past five years and can't make movies due to an insurance company seeing her as the ultimate liability. Her gossiping friend says she's blown through all of her money. Says Holly Scoop, the money that she has isn't really there anymore. There's no money saved up. It's not hard to go through $5 million, especially if you're Lindsay Lohan. What happened? In our latest look, how celebrities go from rich to broke, we chronicle. Lohan allegedly partied five days a week, balancing a career as an actress and hitting nightclubs that frequently is 
nearly impossible. Moreover, Lohan spent millions of dollars on the white powdered version of Coca-Cola. Yep, you heard me right, millions. Partying all the time and being difficult to work with led her movie career to dwindle. Ask anyone what the last decent movie Lohan appeared in was, and they'll promptly respond Mean Girls. After a string of flops that actually made it to theaters, Lohan had to take the low road and start doing direct-to-TV and direct-to-DVD movies, like this one, Labor Pains, a low-budget flick that debuted on ABC Family. Stephen Baldwin the youngest of the famous acting brothers, Stephen has never been good with numbers, a shortcoming complicated by bouts of substance abuse and never-ending soul-searching. The self-proclaimed born-again Christian may have asked himself what would Jesus do, before filing for Chapter 11 bankruptcy in 2009 after racking up debt from $1.9 in mortgages, overextending credit cards by $70,000, and accruing almost $750,000 in back tax payments. Maybe the charity he played for on Celebrity Apprentice should have been his own. As the old saying goes, as coined by Sir Thomas Brown, charity begins at home. Brendan Fraser. Fraser has over 16 acting credits to his resume and still can't seem to make ends meet. This guy was one of Hollywood's biggest stars, and I would be shocked if you never saw one of his films or at the very least didn't recognize his face. He allegedly makes over 200,000 a month, but monthly alimony and child support payments of 75,000 along with fees to agents and managers, everyday living expenses drags the actor's bank account into the red. He also claims a back injury suffered during Hurricane Sandy has prevented him from working as much as usual. Before we're subjected to another Mummy movie, hopefully Frazier will choose to liquidate some of his $25 million in assets to pay his bills. Honestly, do you guys feel bad for him? Would love to know down below in the comments. Chris Tucker. Take care of your business, man. Don't listen to people. Do your own business. Be careful who you listen to. Because that's the last time I let Wesley Snipes help me out with my taxes. <laughs> Chris is an American actor and stand-up comedian best known for his role as Detective James Carter on the hit comedy film series Rush Hour with Jackie Chan as a co-star. He was once one of the highest paid Hollywood actors, but as we now know, life is unpredictable as it gets. Unfortunately for Tucker, he had to face a huge setback completely unprepared. Starring on a main role in a hit movie would make you think that he should be swimming in money by now, but as surprising as he encountered some problems. According to Buzz Around, his net worth possibly dropping to an estimated negative 11.5 million. That's negative 11 and a half million dollars. Now allow me to share with you an insight on the incidents which led to that. The Rush Hour movie series, due to its success, which generated 244 million worldwide in 1998, had two sequels where the actor took full advantage of the pilot's movie's fame and made demands which regards to his salaries on two different sequels. Tucker demanded a $20 million salary for the filming in 2001's Rush Hour 2 and $25 million for the third part, which is 2007's Rush Hour 3. Aside from this, he also received 20% of the gross from Rush Hour 3. According to his representative, there had been an issue with the agency regarding Tucker's taxes, which was a product of poor accounting and business management. This resulted to Tucker owing the IRS a debt of $14 million, according to the representative. In an interview, Chris places the blame solely on his financial management team. Apparently on his time for the show business, Tucker made various bad investments that were unspecified in the reports with the influence of his financial advisor, who also failed to provide sufficient assistance on making sure his tax duties were paid right really shows how important it is to choose the right people to trust. Lena Headey She may play the evil queen on Game of Thrones, but Lena Headey's good looks did her no good when a vicious divorce and custody battle in 2012 cost her so dearly she reported that she only had $5 in the bank in 2013. Heedy sold her Hollywood Hills home at a loss of about $340,000 to get back on her feet and invested in a more modest home in the San Fernando Valley earlier this year. Meanwhile, she's wrangling with her ex to hand over her 2011 tax return just to buy groceries and pay the utility bills. Doesn't Game of Thrones pay better than that? All jokes aside though, she did go bankrupt and the rising popularity of Game of Thrones helped offset that. Nonetheless, she definitely went fully broke at one point. Debbie Reynolds. This might be one of the most interesting stories of the video. Debbie was one of the most iconic characters in Hollywood. She had a tendency to hand her money over to her husbands who took advantage of her. So much so that one of her husbands spent over $100 million on a gambling site alone. Horribly enough, that husband divorced her and eventually left her with over $300 million in debt. Can you imagine? I. I can't, I really can't. Burt Reynolds. Screen legend Burt lived out his final days at his beloved Florida estate, thanks to a generous tycoon who let him live there for pennies. 
Once among Hollywood's biggest stars, Reynolds slid into bankruptcy due to bad investments and his messy divorce from second wife Lonnie Anderson. Reynolds was in danger of losing his waterfront mansion in Florida. Sadly, he passed away not too long ago. Poor and heartbroken. We hope that never happens to any of you. And with that being said, that concludes movie stars who went broke after big roles. Were you surprised by how intelligent some of these Hollywood celebrities were when it comes to their spending habits? We certainly were. Honestly, we can't imagine losing over $100 million, that'd be insane. Or even spending $5 million to shoot someone's ashes out of a cannon. Nonetheless, we really hope you enjoyed today's video, and if you did, please be sure to leave a like, subscribe, notifications on to never miss a video like this in the future, and go ahead and comment down below what your favorite part was. And with that being said, see you next time.